Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a haul, kind of like a birthday haul slash Ulta sale haul slash Sephora and some other new products that I wanna try this month. So let's get into it. to you with my makeup almost all done except for the eyes because I got a eyeshadow palette so let's start with that the first item that I hauled is from Sephora and it's the brand new Natasha Denona palette a mini palette and I think this is a great way to try Natasha Denona a very expensive palette for an affordable price Natasha Denona has a lot of these five pan palettes that are around $25 I have the purple a uh, mini lila palette one which i also had in a previous giveaway amazing they make some of the best eyeshadow palettes out there this one is the mini retro palette i already swatched it guys i couldn't wait till the haul video so i ended up swatching it this is kind of like a camo theme palette so let's get into it I'm just going to quickly demo you a look using this five pan palette and I'm going to try to use all of the colors. So let's get started. final look that I came up with. Thoughts on the Natasha Denona palette? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I like the formula of this palette. The mini Lila one that I got had awesome pigmentation. It was really great. I was kind of disappointed with all of the shimmers that were in the palette. This one right here, it looks like a very warm pinky gold color but when i put it on my eyes it's more like a glitter without the pigment so i felt like it's really good for like the inner corners you can really see it pop and shine but even then i had to wet my brush because it was having a hard time sticking the same thing with the green i don't know if it's my eye primer i only use mac pink pot and soft ochre so i don't know why it felt like it had a hard time sticking to my eyes if that makes sense the two mattes are awesome they're incredible i love them and then this one also it just wasn't the kind of pigmentation that i was expecting it wasn't registering as pink it was very light light pink maybe for my skin tone it's not showing as much i don't know guys if i want to keep this palette it's 25 dollars. i didn't get it on sale although guys before i start any of this there's a sephora sale going on and i'll have the dates of the sale in the description box below the other item that i got laneige sleeping mask lip sleeping mask i've heard great things about them and i finally got a two for one i don't know if it's a two for one deal i'll have the prices here somewhere on the screen and it's in this cute little bag oh i love it it's see-through in the front and then it's like canvas in the back and it says lj xpk so this is um some kind of collaboration with somebody my daughter already stole the pink jar so i have the blue one and i'll show you guys what it looks like 
Look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, guys. So pretty. Oh, it smells like mint. The blue one smells like mint, and I think, I think the pink one tasted like cherries. Finally, I get to try the Laneige brand. And the next thing that I see is from Patchology. I got this during the Ulta sale, guys. It was half off. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh. They're eye patches. I think when you put on eye patches at home, it really is the total spa experience. And they look like jelly eye patches. And I think this is a set of 15. You have the scoop, the little scoop here to scoop it up. I would try this on for you guys, but I do have a video coming up, a very fun collab video. I've tried this twice already, guys. Amazing. Cool. I got so many of the items in here were from the Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty sale, which I did a video on a couple of weeks ago. Okay, next one is the Kopari. Okay, these were half off. I'm always on a search for a deodorant that is vegan, cruelty-free, natural, no chemical or harmful ingredients. The blue one is what I'm gonna return. And this is supposedly like an Allure, see? An Allure award-winning deodorant. Well, it's not working for me. I start to stink by midday and it, I'm a sweaty mess basically. So. No thank you. The CBD one, and I don't have the bottle because it's already in my bathroom and I'm too lazy to get it, but the CBD one is a newer formula. It's actually slightly more expensive as it should be because it's actually a better, better formula. So this one is worth trying. This would be my winter deodorant. I don't know that it can withstand summer because I still feel like I sweat a little bit, just a little bit with this one. But with the blue one, don't get this, guys. I'm gonna return this. This one, I'm giving it a chance. I'm gonna keep it. I was so excited for this. This is the Airbrush Blurring Powder Brush, and it's a duo fiber brush from It Cosmetics. This is from Ulta, and again, I got it half off, and I've been wanting to use it, but I kept it here because that way it stays clean for you guys. I needed a bigger, duo fiber brush i have this one from sigma see and it was a little too small so i don't know now this one's small and this one's large i think i need a medium <laughs> i wanna see if i could use it as a bronzer or maybe like for cream bronzers i don't know but this is oh what i don't know why i smelled it but <laughs> This is so soft, oh my gosh. The other thing that I got, oh, this is from Perfectly Polished. This is the Perfectly Posh brand. I bought their anti-aging microdermabrasion. I think if you have sensitive skin and you're afraid of those harsh scrubs or harsh chemicals this would be the all natural counterpart of that you put it on on dry skin and you'll feel little scrubbies and you're going to put it on your face rub 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 it and then as soon as you apply water it turns into this silky smooth consistency that feels so good and cooling on the face this i highly recommend if you have sensitive skin and you need that microdermabrasion action i already know a friend but I don't want to call her out with her sensitive skin. I think I'm going to recommend this to her. Very, very gentle microdermabrasion, but it's also all natural. It's call it even anti-aging microdermabrasion. Look how cute the packaging is. Okay, next thing that I have... Oh, let me pull this out. Okay, this one is a birthday gift to me because I've always wanted to try Super Goop the brand in general and because summer is coming up and hopefully someday we'll see the sun again and be able to go out to the beach and hang out i was already thinking about summer guys you have to think about spf what do you call this oh i love this material you have the super goop defense refresh this is a setting mist guys or spray with spf and then I got the Unseen Sunscreen. So this one is with SPF 40. I'm very excited to try this. This is something that you can wear under makeup. And the next one is the SPF Everyday Lotion. 
and I believe this is the one that's for the body. And then this is their setting spray. So I'm going to try this. It smells like sunscreen. It feels refreshing. The spray is great, by the way. I'll let you guys know what I think about this, but really excited to finally try Super Goop back in their little baggies here. So I'm gonna have a review of this soon. Next thing that I got is from Sephora. This is something that I got for myself. Sephora Shia Hair Sleeping Mask. Okay, I've never tried a hair sleeping mask before, but you're supposed to sleep with this overnight. It has like a buttload of cream right here. Step one is to put this cream, and then step two is the actual mask itself that you're gonna put over your hair so that you know the cream doesn't transfer onto your pillow. Never tried hair mask before, and I feel like my hair definitely needs it. I'm planning to do something with my hair, guys. I really just wanted a haircut, but since I can't get that right now, <laughs> I'll probably color it. I wanna color the ends of my hair like either purple or pink. You know, I just want a temporary color. I got the idea from my friend Perky Perkins and she has a YouTube channel as well. She colored her hair purple and I was like, hey, that is nice, you know, and it's a temporary hair color, which is what I like. So I'm gonna need the mask after I dye my hair for sure. Another thing I bought for myself, the pharmacy. I wanna try more of the pharmacy brand, but this is a hydrogel mask. Hydrogel masks are my favorite masks because they're like jelly in texture and they are second skin when you apply it on and they don't come off. And this is the hydrating ones. I am always into putting more hydration into my face even though I'm oily and I feel like you have a more healthier glow. Okay, next one. This is the second item that I got from Perfectly Posh. Block it like it's hot. Again, I was thinking about summertime and this is a moisturizer with SPF. I love the consistency. It's a thin consistency. I've tried it under makeup. Let me show you guys. It's like that. I'm gonna match it up against Super Goop because they also have that moisturizer. So this one I believe has SPF 30 and it's a face cream. And I read that it's non-comedogenic. So all a plus plus check check on my skincare needs. So definitely excited to try this more. Ah, yes my Ultra Repair for Face Moisturizer. You guys know I love this. Head on to my skincare videos. I talked about this more in depth. It was on sale during the 21 Days of Beauty and so I got me a backup. I needed a foundation. I wanted to try one and I did a review on it. So go check out the Pure 4-in-1 Selfie Foundation Review. It's a concealer and a foundation in one. And I'm gonna tell you now, I love this as a concealer for sure. And I have the color TG3. It's such a perfect color for me on the face, but also very brightening under the eyes. This one is a random haul. Be on the lookout for a review on the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. Okay, this one was my birthday gift to myself. The Bite Beauty Change Maker Flexible Coverage Press Powder. It's a touch-up powder. I've already tried it, guys. Let's be real. And I'm already oily. Oh. Okay. And this is what it looks like. Very fine powder. But I don't know that it is fine enough to cover up pores and not sit on top of the skin because my Cover FX one does an amazing job with that. We'll see, I might put these two head to head and let you know what I think. But this is so cute, look at the packaging. I've had this for over a year, all the writing has rubbed off and I figured I'm gonna need a backup and this is from Bite Beauty and it's considered clean at Sephora. It's a newer product that just came out and I was so excited to try this and summer was coming and so of course I need something like a blotting powder of some kind. So can't wait to try this. Is there anything else? Oh, yes. I've never tried the Sunday Riley brand. This is what I got. It's a deluxe size set, but they're actually a pretty good size. This one contains the Sunday Riley Cleanser, 
always love trying new cleansers out. And then the Good Jeans, Sunday Riley All-in-One Lactic Acid. Very light serum. I love trying out acids. They work really well for my skin, especially with acne prevention. It works really well with healing the acne and just with the skin turnover and everything. So I love it. And Sunday Riley is a great brand. This is the last one. Yep. This is another rebuy for me. The Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. It's on sale. It was half off during the 21 days of beauty sale and I got the brown one. Um, amazing. I don't do wing liner very often, but when I do, I turn to the Stila one or the NYX one. So if this is on sale, I buy it. But if it's not on sale, I can wait. And this usually goes on sale during Ulta's 21 days of beauty sale. So always be on the lookout or be on the lookout for my videos. <laughs> and then the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I feel is a dupe for this liner, for the Stila one. So if this isn't on sale, go get yourself the next one. They actually have a pretty similar, you know, tip. At least now I have a black one and a brown one. So that is it guys for my random everything haul, pretty much, um, slash birthday haul. <laughs> I had so much fun showing you guys what I got. And this is not in any way to kind of you know, show you, hey, look at what I can buy. But really to share with you some of the products that are good and are upcoming brands that are worth trying and that maybe you'd want to try. Definitely be on the lookout for the Sephora VIB sale. It's coming up sometime this week. And if I upload this, on time it would be starting today so depending on the tier or membership tier that you have at sephora you have a specific date for the sale so i'll have all of those information in the description box below actually about half of these products can be found at sephora if in case you want to try them wait for the sale that's it guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you're new here please consider subscribing i post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews till next time guys hope you have a great great rest of your day and i'll see you back in my corner soon bye